فَاوْلٌ مَفَاعِيلٌ فَاوْلٌ مَفَاعِيلٌ فَاوْلٌ مَفَاعِيلٌ فَاوْلٌ مَفَاعِيلٌ فَلَمْ أَرَهَا إِلَى غُرُورًا وَبَاطِلًا كَمَا لَا حَفِي زَارِ الْفَلَاتِ سَرَبُهَا وَمَا هِيَّ إِلَى جِفَةٌ مُسْتَحِيلَةٌ عَلَيْهَا كِلَابُهَا مُهُنَّجْ تِزَابُهَا فَإِنْ تَجْتَنِبُهَا كُنْ تَسِلْ مَنْ لِهَالِهَا وَإِنْ تَجْتَزِبُهَا نَا زَأَتِقَا كِلَابُهَا فَتُوبِ لِنَفُسِهُ لِعَتِقَارَ دَارِهَا مُغَلِّكَ تَلْأَبْوَا بِمُرْخَيَّا حِجَابُهَا This is a brief explanation of the poem. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back, dear viewers, to the concluding part of this poem. Imam Shafi'i continues in his description of life. He calls life a deception, a mirage, and a rotten corpse. Allah describes life as in the Quran. Surah Al-Hadid, verse 20 وَمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا إِلَّا مَتَاعُ الْغُرُورِ Allah says, Whereas the life of this world is no more than the delusion of enjoyment. Dear viewers, Know that all of these description of life is to show us that our priority lies in the hereafter. Therefore, use this life wisely to get the best in the hereafter. Imam Shafi'i advises us to pay little attention to this life. He ends by saying, Successful is the one who holds on to little from this world. Allahumma la taj'ali dunya akbar hammina wa la mablaga ilmina O oh Allah, do not make this dunya our greatest concern nor the ultimate of our knowledge. May Allah have mercy on the Imam Shafi'i and grant us the benefits of this prayer. Till next episode, we say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ma ahsan ad-dina wa dunia idha jitama'a La baraka allahu fi dunia bila deen